What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Is your footage bland, boring, not good to look at? Well, I have a solution for you. Hmm, dope. Hey guys, my name is Danny Matthews. I'm gonna drop the sales pitch. Today we're gonna be learning how to create cinematic footage in Adobe Premiere. For reference in Premiere, my timeline is here, my toolbar is here, here's my source panel, my project and effects windows are gonna be here. Here is the effects control for that, and finally the preview window. All right, guys, now that you have the understanding of the layout of Adobe Premiere, let's go ahead and jump into this. So here is our clip that we're gonna be working with. This is a lot more handheld feel and shake, and I like this feel. But if that's something that you guys don't like, we can go ahead and actually put some warp stabilizer on it and smooth it out. So what you're gonna do is come over here to your effects tab and type in warp, and you're gonna have warp stabilizer right here. You can go ahead and click and drag into your effects control, or just double click it, and it'll go onto your clip. Once it's done analyzing, you can see how smooth it's gonna be. If you start seeing it warping and just not doing what it's supposed to do, I'm actually going to create a separate tutorial how to fix that in this scenario you're going to probably just have to take it out and go with the handheld feel and like i said i don't want to have warp stabilizer on this clip so i'm going to go ahead and actually delete it but if you guys want to have it you have that option to create this more cinematic we cannot change the speed of a clip with a warp stabilizer on it so what we have to do is go ahead and right clip right click on the clip and go over to nest hit on nest and go ahead and give it a name and hit ok it's going to become green and now you can go ahead and change the speed of this go ahead and just right click it go on to speed duration go ahead and click that and we have our different speeds so if you shot this in 60 fps 30 fps or 24 fps i'm going to go down the line of what this looks like if you shoot in 60 fps you can go down to 40 30 fps you can slow it down to 70 percent 24 fps you can slow this down to uh, around 80 percent so you have those different speeds and most people shoot 24 for cinematic or 60 if they want to do slow-mo so you can go ahead and slow-mo this and we can do 80 percent for 24 fps and i'm actually going to go ahead and alter our time here down to five seconds and we can go ahead and just watch this back and we can see that it has a really cool lifelike movement to it at the 80% market. It's a little bit slower, but just like more smooth and kind of just, and feels a lot more cinematic. What we're going to do is go over to our color grading. And in this, I'm going to just go ahead and time lapse through this. But if you guys want to understand basic correction, I made a video here. If you want to understand more depth into color grading for cinematic color grading, I actually have a video that I made here as well that you guys can go check out. All right, so we went ahead and really just did a number on this clip here. It was very imbalanced, uh, so I had to adjust quite a bit, and it has white light coming in, so it's a lot of sunlight and then a lot of tungsten. So here's what our color grade looks like, and here's our before, and here's our after. As you can see, mind-blowing difference between the two of them. We are gonna go ahead and add some cinematic bars. Now, I created a video where you have two different methods to create this, whatever one works better for you guys. You can check out this video to get more in-depth versions on that but I'm gonna show you the quicker version uh, just for this because uh, it's just gonna be easier in case you guys just don't feel like watching that so what we're gonna do is come back over here to our editing and now that we are in our editing what we're gonna do is actually come over here and create a new adjustment layer by hitting on that little file and creating a new adjustment layer hit ok for the same dimensions I'm gonna bring this adjustment layer and go ahead and just place it on top of your clip next what we're gonna do is come over here to our effects go ahead and delete warp that you had before and type in crop go ahead and double click or drag over to your effects control and what we're gonna do is top 12% bottom 12% now we have cinematic bars and what we're gonna do is actually go ahead and adjust this clip to fit the bars that uh, we need it to fit so now we're gonna go ahead and watch back our video and we need to move this down a lot more. So you can see we are almost there. It is almost super cinematic. We have two more things that we have to add to this and then we are completely done with it. What we're gonna have to do is add some cinematic music now. The most generic thing to do is go ahead and use a cinematic sequence or like an ambient noise. If you guys wanna use something else, you can totally do that. But for cinematic, we were gonna go ahead and go to music bed. Whatever music subscription you guys have, um, you can just type in cinematic and you'll be able to get uh, what you guys need. All right guys, so we're gonna make this a little bit more dramatic. So we're gonna use this more dramatic cinematic uh, music that I have here and we're gonna go ahead and just increase it 
and we can see that this is just really getting the flow going really making this super cinematic and next is going to be sound effects now this is super like whatever you want this to be we can add in sound for her footsteps sound of the room sound of people talking in the background so i'm going to go ahead and just grab all that audio place it in here so you guys can hear it understand what it sounds like Alright guys, so that's how you create cinematic footage in Adobe Premiere. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below and I'll get back to you guys on that. And if you learned something from this video, go ahead and check out one of these videos because I promise you you'll learn something from those. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.